Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an auction house on your Minecraft server. For this, we are going to be using a plugin called Auction House. So first, you wanted to make sure that you are running a version that does support plugins. So to do this, first go down to the server type and click on the jar and pre-install menu. From in here, you can then select a few versions such as paper, spigot, and craft bucket. However, we do recommend paper as it is a lot more optimized. Once you've selected your version, go ahead and click save, and then restart your server. Once your version is installed, go to the first link in the description, and you should be taken to the auction house spigot page. And this is if you're on 1.19 or above. However, if we scroll down, we can see you need a different version for each different version of Minecraft. So go ahead and find your version and then download it. One thing you're also going to need is an economy plugin. Now if we scroll down, it actually says it needs a vault and that is what we recommend to use anyway. So in the description, I'll leave a link to vault. I'm also going to download Essentials X for convenience and that will also be down there too. So once you've downloaded all the plugins, go ahead and go to your server. Then you're going to want to go to the left, the file manager, and then go into the plugin folder. Then go to upload, file, and then of course you're going to want to find your auction house jar file. Then we'll go ahead and open that, and then we're also going to need to upload essentials and vault as well. So we'll go ahead and open those, and as you can see, they are now all installed. So now go ahead and restart your server. Once your server has started up again, go ahead and join it on Minecraft. So simply to check the plugins are installed correctly, we're going to do slash PL. And as you can see, Bucket Plugins, Auction House, Essentials and Vault are green, meaning they're all installed correctly. So now if we do slash AH for Auction House, as you can see, it has now loaded up the Auction House, where you can see current listings, sort listings, how to sell an item, and also just a description of what the page is. So let's say you wanted to sell this totem of undying. First of all, you're gonna to need to be in survival as you can't add items to the auction house when you're in creative. Although that is something you can change in the config files. So let's say we wanted to sell this totem of undying for 100,000. We would simply do slash AH, sell, and then we'll put a price. So that'll be 100. And then if we add three more zeros, it is now 100,000. So there we go, you have listed one totem of undying for 100,000 on the auction house. So now if we do slash H, check the auction house, we can see we have a totem of undying here for a price of $100,000. The seller is me and it will expire in seven days. You can see I can shift left click to cancel the item and also shift right click to expire the item. If you expire it just like I did, if you then do slash AH, and then expired, you can see the expired listing, we have a totem of undying. Now if I didn't do it manually, after those seven days, if no one had bought it, it would go into this list. And then you can simply claim it back by clicking it. You can also access that menu a bit easier if you just do slash AH. And then if you click the diamond, it will take you to your current listings. So if you have anything for sale, it will show in here. And then if you click the potato, it will take you to expired listings. So that's just another way to get to that menu. Now by default, there is a price cap of $100,000. However, this plugin is extremely customizable. So in the config settings, you can find a ton of stuff. One of these being the max sale price. And to get to this config, if you go back to the plugins folder, you should then see a, pl you should then see a folder called auction house. Go into that and then go into the config.yml file. And in here, you'll see a ton of stuff that you can customize. So for example, you can see in the listing duration, it currently is seven days, and that's how long it would be before it expires. And you can also find here, the max sell price is currently 100,000. We could of course change that to a million, or just whatever you wanted to change it to. You can even see things like here, like allow damaged items. So let's say a pickaxe had half durability. Currently, you wouldn't be able to put it on the auction house. But if you enable this, then you would be able to. So I definitely recommend taking a look through the config and just customizing it to how you want it. All right, so now one more thing I'm gonna show you is simply how to put an unlimited item on the auction house. So let's say you're an admin in the server and you want to make it so that anyone can buy diamonds whenever they want. So I've now got a diamond and if we do the command slash AH and then U list, we can then put a price. This will be the price for one diamond. So let's put it as $150. And as you can see, we've added it to the auction house. And if we go to the auction house, you can see the price is $150 and the seller is the server. But this just means you can buy it as many times as you want. So as long as you have the money to buy it, you can buy it. All right, so I've now had a friend join the game and they've put some items in the auction house. So if I do slash AH, you can see they've put a diamond sword for 150,000. They've put 64 cookies for 128. Ender pearls for 8,192. Podzol for 64. And one egg for 16. So you can see the different stack sizes and also different values. 
And then if we go ahead and buy the diamond sword, we get a purchase item screen, where then you want to click on the green section, which will confirm it. And then as you can see, we now have the diamond sword. And if we also look down here, our balance has been taken down. So now it's 17,359,000. So now if we buy another item from the auction house, if we buy these ender pearls, once again, click the green section, you can see our money has gone down from 17,359,000 to 17,350,808. So you can see that it is correctly taking the money away from us. So then once again, we'll just buy some more. So we've now bought everything from the auction house. And as you can see, it is gradually taking our money away. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.